When we borrow money from a bank or building society as a loan, we have to make regular repayments at a certain interest rate. And the way that this is done is slightly complicated and it always means that we end up paying more interest than perhaps we expect. Let's look at this example. I've taken a loan of £10,000 from a bank. I'm paying them £1,500 a year back and the interest is 6%. And we construct what's called an amortised schedule, which has got four columns. The first one is how much money we still owe them. So at the beginning, we owe £10,000. We can then calculate what interest we need to pay on that in the first year. Each year, we pay 6% interest of what we owe. So I have equals 0.06, is 6% interest times what I still owe. That's £600. I'm paying back £1,500 interest. I'm doing that every year. So in fact, I'm going to click and drag that because that's always going to be there. But what's happened to that £1,500 we paid the bank that year? Well, they've taken 600 of it as the interest that we owed them. So only the rest, 1500 minus 600, has been used to pay off the capital. So the capital that we've repaid is this 1500 minus the interest that we owed them. So we've only actually paid £900 back from our total loan. So at the beginning of the next year, how much do we still owe? Well, we owe what we previously did minus what we've paid back this year, the 900. So we're now down to 9,100. And now we simply need to click and drag each of our formulae. So if I start this one, bottom right corner, click and drag. It doesn't look very interesting at the moment because the other columns are empty. But as we fill them in, the whole thing will spring into place. Let's look at what happens to the interest now, 6% each year. So 6% of 9,100 is 546. Payments are fixed, but the capital repaid, that will change as well. And we can see that it's going down like this. And so after eight years, I still owe 2,445. I haven't dragged enough. I need to get the amount owed down to zero. So let's do a few more years click and drag, perhaps this will do it. Yep, we're there now. So at the beginning of year 9, I still owed 1,092. So I wouldn't need to pay back for the whole year. In fact, let, let's just get rid of these two. These are overpayments. So in this year, I still owe 1,092. I need to pay £65 interest on that, so the total amount I'll pay that year is equal to this amount plus this amount, because it's the final year, and I've repaid the capital that I needed. So how much have I actually paid? Well, if we add up this column, go to Home and Sum, You've actually paid 13,157. So on a, a loan of 10,000, the overall interest is 31.5% because it's been spread over about nine years. So the interest is perhaps more than we expect. And this gets greater the less we pay, the longer that we extend our mortgage. Let's, for example, change our annual payments to 1,000 instead of 1500 I'll just clear this and if we now click and drag here we won't have paid off after nine years we need to do the whole thing a bit further I'm not sure even if that would be enough no we still owe 3200 so we'll need to go down a few more years We have to keep going until oops, until the amount that we owe has gone negative. That's the that's the sign.
and so we can see that on row 20 we're into negative territory so let's get rid of those ones that will be overpayment and in fact on row 19 we still owe 689 pounds uh, the interest is 41 so the total we'll pay that year would actually be 689 plus the 41 so how much can be paid altogether now by taking longer to pay if we add up these totals we're now up to 15,700 so the longer that you take to pay it by paying back less each year the more that you pay overall this is an amortized schedule So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.